If you're more of a pool person, we want to warn you about this. You are advised to watch out for crypto, a bacteria lurking in pool water contaminated by feces. Experts with the Centers for Disease Control warn cryptosporidium outbreaks are on the rise across the nation. Fox 10's Morella Porter spoke with a local health expert who tells us how to keep the waterborne disease at bay. Morella. Right, Michael. So far this year, there have only been two reported cases in Mobile County, which health experts say is not concerning as they see about nine to 10 cases on average per year. But there are certain things we can do to keep that number down. Cryptosporidium, or crypto, is the leading cause of waterborne disease, according to the CDC. The number of reported outbreaks has increased 13% every year in the U.S. Swallowing water in pools and water playgrounds were among the leading causes of outbreaks. It doesn't take much for crypto to spread, but it is tough to kill. Chlorine may or may not get rid of the, the disease in the, in the swimming pools or in the water. The bacteria, which causes diarrhea, can sicken people for as long as three weeks, according to the CDC. You can become symptomatic anywhere from two days to 10 days. Showering before swimming is recommended, along with teaching kids not to swallow pool or playground water. You want to make sure that you're not sick when you're going into the water. That's the, that's the key thing. Gibbs says the risk increases in July and August as more people head to the pool. You just never know what's floating around. We do not want him swallowing that water because there's so many things that's going around. It's not just about pools, though. Other major crypto exposures included contact with animals and contact with infected people in child care settings. Washing your hands and staying away from child care centers when you're sick are other ways to prevent and control outbreaks. Live in the studio, Morella Porter, Fox 10 News.